cannot tell the difference between being in free space, infinitely far from anything with no forces, and falling freely in a gravitational field. That's another statement of the equivalence principle. Did you say not mechanically detectable? Well, in fact, not detectable, period, but, uh, but uh, so far not mechanically detectable. Yeah, because the acceleration involves two things. It involves the force and the mass. The bigger the mass, the less the acceleration for a given force. So the Earth doesn't accelerate. Yeah, question. Uh, how did Newton arrive at that equation for the gravitational force? I think it was largely a guess, but there was, sorry, it was an educated guess. As he worked out, roughly speaking, I, I don't know exactly what he did. He was rather secretive, and he didn't really tell people what he did. All right, it's going to go into... Um more scrutinizing of uh, gravity and this uh, theory superstition uh, concerning this uh, invisible force <laughs> the force that we're talking about here it's invisible it's not detectable and it's highly difficult to measure and admittedly weak and even fictitious in a lot of cases <laughs> so um, we're gonna try to scrutinize this equation because I got a lot of feedback and like I said, I'm sure there were going to be holes initially. But the point is, um, it's not hard to uh, attack this equation because it's nonsense. And what I'm discovering is basically they've um, grafted <laughs> this uh, concept onto fundamental forces. So what they've done is basically, um, like I said, put a head on top of a head. Um, they're renaming something. Um, almost masking the truth with the fiction so uh, this formula here which concerns the gravitational force which they uh, they drop this uh, concept on top of the reality of weight which is mass measured in grams and kilograms which we know as weight um, but here they say um, popular language mass and weight are often used to mean the same thing in reality they are different you know they're related but quite different so here's the bullshit where um there's no such thing as weight there's just gravity this gravitational force exerted on an object um so here's the equation um that i mentioned last time which i uh, explained is a uh, bunk um now in the one of the videos i said um they would use g as a one to uh omit it in the equation uh technically that's not what they do in all cases. Uh, what they actually have done is even more, um, it's a little more clever than that even. Um, it's still technically omitted in a sense, but um, in this weight equation, this is the force of gravity. This is measured in newtons. Um, this g, which is the gravitational constant, this uh, minuscule, minute, weak number. This m is the mass of the earth. Um, we're dealing with the objects near the surface. So this will be the mass of the Earth. This is the um, radius of the Earth. This are, these are standard numbers, these three. And um, they equal to this G, which is uh, kind of funny. Now, what is this G? Um, it says, the weight of an object of mass M at the surface of the Earth is obtained by multiplying the mass M by the acceleration due to gravity. G at the surface of the Earth. So this is the acceleration due to gravity. The acceleration due to gravity is approximately the product of the universal gravitational constant G and the mass of the Earth M divided by the radius of the Earth R squared. So the mass of the Earth here is actually uh, accordingly, you know, um, supposedly is 5 septillion 980 sextillion kilograms. Don't ask me how they measured that, because uh, in globe Earth physics, since the Earth is the object, um, supposedly they can measure it. Now, with flat Earth, I don't believe um, there's too many in the flat Earth um, schools that actually have a measurement. I have to look, but um, because we're not dealing with the uh, object, uh, a singular um, separated object in the vacuum. So this number is suspicious. Um, there's no way for us to verify this number. But I bring it up because that number they use for the mass of the Earth, the gravitational constant, along with this uh, radius, uh, like they say here, 
it's the product of uh, g times m divided by this r squared. This number comes out to equal this um, g, which is the acceleration due to gravity. Now, coincidentally, the measure of gravitational acceleration at the Earth's surface is found to be 980 centimeters per second second, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, here's the BS because, again, when we look at acceleration, um, that's just a standard number for an object at acceleration. It's 9.8 meters a second squared. Um, so every second, it increases. Uh, it's exponential. That's where you get the square from. Now, this is not solely a um, trait of gravity, though. Um, when we look at acceleration, we get um, it is totally impossible to distinguish whether an observed force is due to gravity or to acceleration. So here, they're differentiating between gravity and acceleration. So you got to catch them in the lie. Uh, sometimes they lump it, then sometimes they admit that they're not the same, as I said in a previous video. Gravity and inertial acceleration have identical effects. So inertial acceleration can be used in place of this F and this, uh, this G claiming to be gravity. Uh, we could actually use this for inertial acceleration. Um, this is what they've done. They took the initial formula and called it gravity when this formula actually just applies to flat earth science anyway. I mean, it's just inertia. So, basically we can consider this whole inertial um, deal as really the force behind what they're claiming to be gravity. Um, so it really would be acceleration due to inertia or slash a density differential we could call it. Um, so these newtons that we're seeing, uh, which is the this equation here, is measured in newtons. When you get this, um, this equals newtons. Uh, this would be considered what they call weight. <laughs> so uh, what they're saying is, truthfully, weight is measured in newtons, not uh, kilograms. Uh, kilograms is just mass, but mass is not weight. Actually, uh, mass is just a part of it. We need to factor in gravity in order to get the weight. So we would measure that in newtons. here uh, which is um, correlates to mass times acceleration so I came across a uh, paper here a um, quiz I guess from a university uh, discussing this uh, equation so it says here how strong is the force of gravity on a 170 pound person 77 kilograms at the surface of the earth and remember um, this equation where it gives you the G, the M, and the R. Um, this is the same equation here. So they give you the answer first, uh, 7.55 times 10 to the power of 2 newtons. So they answered in newtons, of course. So they give you the equation. It says this equation always describes the force of gravity between two objects with mass M and M2. Remember, D is the distance between the centers of the two objects. You can use this equation, but you must remember proper units. Any mass always must be in kilograms. Any distance always must be in M, which is meters. Any time must always be in S, which is seconds. If you wanted to use the equation, you can use D equals 6.378 to the power of 10 to the power of 6. Technically, D is the distance between the centers of the two objects, but a 6-foot tall person only changes the distance from 6.368 times 10 to the power of 6 to 6.368 times 10 to the power of 6 plus 1.8 meters, a completely negligible difference. So this is near the surface of the Earth. So you can use this equation, and if you plugged it in correctly, you would get the right answer. However, please remember that for any object near the surface of the Earth, you can use F equals mass times acceleration, where A equals G equals 9.8 meters a second squared. That greatly simplifies the problem and makes it very easy to answer. So here's the, um, here's the bullshit. Uh, they just throw this G in here, like acceleration, 
equals this gravity equals 9.8 meters a second. Uh, but like I said, we would just say this acceleration is the acceleration due to inertia. Or like I said, density differential. Um, because as stated here, as stated, gravity and inertial acceleration have identical effects. So who are you? Uh, you know, how can we say this is uh, measuring gravity? Well, no, we say this measuring the um, inertial effects and uh, the differential and density. Um, so th this is the uh, cover up, basically. Um, this is terrorism. They hijacked an equation. Um, because if you go back up here, you get the answer uh, 7.55 times 10 to the power of 2. This is 755. And when you plug this in, you do get 755 uh, mass time acceleration. If you do it to the 77 kilograms times 9.8 meters a second squared, you get 755 so-called newtons. Um, so this is just an equation that they came up with to uh, measure uh, this invisible force, which doesn't exist. Um, the 755, like I said, could be considered uh, inertials, if you want to call it. Or, um, you know, I just made up a symbol here. Because, uh, like, density differential, whatever we want to call it. But this whole Newton thing is just replacing the uh, fundamental force of inertia, which is real. Uh, mass and inertia. So, like I said, this is terrorism. This is uh, mathematical terrorism. They hijacked the uh, natural fundamental equation uh, with these numbers. So, as someone also pointed out to me, this number, uh, the gravitational constant, is close to 666, which uh, we know a lot of the uh, occultists love the number 666. So, what I'm pretty sure what they've done is um, they've been able to mathematically... Um, play with these numbers because the mass of the earth you know what the hell like who's gonna <laughs> who's gonna know this uh this bullshit and this is the so-called uh radius of the earth right here and again um based on the spherical model but we know it's not a sphere uh so what i'm thinking now is they basically um finagled these numbers in order to come out to equal the 9.8 meters a second squared, which is already suspect. Um, it's very suspect how they are reverse engineered this. So, um, you know, they're very clever. Um, and, you know, they've been able to convince people with things like this. But um, as said here, uh, you don't actually have to use that equation. You would just take all that out um, <laughs> or just summarize it with mass times acceleration, which is the same thing. And of course, um, acceleration could also be due to inertia admittedly so so um this is not a um exclusive gravitational equation after all it's just um terrorism it's mathematical hijacking and it's a uh, shameless and it's bold um very bold uh, even when we look at the uh, definition of weight now it's been a uh, hijacked you know, the weight of an object is usually taken to be the force on the object due to gravity. And then over here, the standard unit, the standard uh, international unit, is a Newton. Like, get the fuck out of here. Nobody uses Newtons for weight. But see how bold they are? Um, and I'll probably go into this little weight thing in another video. But, um, yeah, this is what happened. Uh, they hijacked an equation. They substituted some numbers, uh, some astronomical numbers, and uh, got them to equal this 9.8, which is only based on inertia and density. Um, there's nothing to do with gravity. Um, that's still the faith. Uh, that's still their faith in uh, scientism, um, saying that this, uh, this, there's this force. <laughs> when we know it's just a result, um, it's a reaction. It's a, uh, it's the behavior of. Um, densities under natural law. Peace. How did Newton arrive at that equation for the gravitational I think it was largely a guess, but there was it was an educated guess. He worked out roughly speaking, I, I don't know exactly what he did. He was rather secretive and he didn't really tell people what he did. All right, it's going to go into um, more scrutinizing of uh, gravity.
and this uh, theory superstition uh, concerning this uh, invisible force, <laughs> the force that we're talking about here. It's invisible, it's not detectable, and it's highly difficult to measure and admittedly weak and even fictitious in a lot of cases. <laughs> so um, we're going to try to scrutinize this equation because I got a lot of feedback and like I said, I'm sure there were going to be holes initially. But the point is, um, it's not hard to uh, attack this equation because it's nonsense. And what I'm discovering is basically they've um, grafted <laughs> this uh, concept onto fundamental forces. So what they've done is basically, um, like I said, put a head on top of a head. Um, they're renaming something, um, almost masking the truth with the fiction. So uh, this formula here, which concerns the gravitational force, which they uh, they drop this uh, concept on top of the reality of weight, which is mass measured in grams and kilograms, which we know as weight. Um, but here they say um, popular language, mass and weight are often used to mean the same thing. In reality, they are different. You know, they're related, but quite different. So here's the bullshit where um, there's no such thing as weight. There's just gravity. This gravitational force exerted on an object. Um, so here's the equation um, that I mentioned last time, which I uh, explained is a uh, bunk. Um, now, in the one of the videos, I said um, they would use g as a one to uh, omit it in the equation. Uh, technically, that's not what they do in all cases. Uh, what they actually have done is even more, um, it's a little more clever than that even. Um, it's still technically omitted in a sense, but um, in this weight equation, this is the force of gravity. This is measured in newtons. Um, this g, which is the gravitational constant, this uh, minuscule, minute, weak number. This m is the mass of the Earth. Um, we're dealing with the objects near the surface, so this will be the mass of the Earth. This is the um, radius of the Earth. These are these are standard numbers. These three. And um, they equal to this G, which is uh, kind of funny. Now, what is this G? Uh, the surface of the Earth is obtained by multiplying the mass M by the acceleration due to gravity. G at the surface of the Earth. So this is the acceleration due to gravity. The acceleration due to gravity is approximately the product of the universal gravitational constant G and the mass of the Earth M divided by the radius of the Earth R squared. So... The mass of the Earth here is actually uh, accordingly, you know, um, supposedly is five septillion nine hundred eighty sextillion kilograms. Don't ask me how they measured that, because uh, in globe Earth physics, since the Earth is the object, um, supposedly they can measure it. Now with flat Earth, I don't believe um, there's too many in the flat Earth. Um, schools that actually have a measurement i have to look but um because we're not dealing with the uh object uh, a singular um separated object in the vacuum so this number is suspicious um there's no way for us to verify this number but i bring it up because that number they use for the mass of the earth the gravitational constant along with this uh radius uh like they say here it's the product of uh g times m divided by this r squared this number comes out to equal this um, g which is the acceleration due to gravity now coincidentally the measured gravitational acceleration at the earth's surface is found to be 980 centimeters per second second which is 9.8 meters per second squared now here's the bs because again when we look at acceleration um that's just a standard number for an object at acceleration it's 9.8 meters a second squared. Um, so every second, it increases. Uh, it's exponential. That's where you get the square from. Now, this is not solely a um, trait of gravity, though. Um, when we look at acceleration, we get um, it is totally impossible to distinguish whether an observed force is due to gravity or to acceleration. So here, 
they're differentiating between gravity and acceleration. So you got to catch them in the lie. Uh, sometimes they lump it, then sometimes they admit that they're not the same. As I said in a previous video, gravity and inertial acceleration have identical effects. So inertial acceleration can be used in place of this F and this uh, this G claiming to be gravity. Uh, we could actually use this for inertial acceleration. Um, this is what they done. They took the initial formula and called it accordingly, you know, um, supposedly is five septillion nine hundred eighty sextillion kilograms. Don't ask me how they measured that because uh, in globe Earth physics, since the Earth is the object, um, supposedly they can measure it. Now with flat Earth, I don't believe um, there's too many in the flat Earth um, schools that actually have a measurement. I have to look, but um, because we're not dealing with the uh, object, uh, a singular um, separated object in the vacuum, so this number is suspicious. Um, there's no way for us to verify this number. But I bring it up because that number they use for the mass of the Earth the gravitational constant along with this uh, radius uh, like they say here it's the product of uh, G times M divided by this R squared this number comes out to equal this um, G which is the acceleration due to gravity now coincidentally the measured gravitational acceleration at the Earth's surface is found to be 980 centimeters per second second which is 9.8 meters per second squared now here's the BS because again when we look at acceleration um, that's just a standard number for an object at acceleration it's 9.8 meters a second squared um, so every second it increases uh, it's exponential that's where you get the square from now this is not solely a um, trait of gravity though um, when we look at acceleration we get um, it is totally impossible to distinguish whether an observed force is due to gravity or to acceleration so here they're differentiating between gravity and acceleration so you gotta catch them in the lie uh, sometimes they lump it then sometimes they admit that they're not the same as I said in a previous video gravity and inertial acceleration have identical effects so inertial acceleration can be used in place of this F and this uh, this G claiming to be gravity, uh, we could actually use this for inertial acceleration. Um, this is what they done. They took the initial formula and called it gravity. When this formula actually just applies to flat Earth science anyway. I mean, it's just inertia. So. Basically, we can consider this whole inertial um, deal as really the force behind what they're claiming to be gravity. Um, so it really would be acceleration due to inertia or slash a density differential, we could call it. Um, exactly what he did. He was rather secretive and he didn't really tell people what he did. All right. It's going to go into um, more scrutinizing of uh, gravity and this um, theory superstition. Uh, concerning this uh, invisible force, <laughs> the force that we're talking about here, it's invisible, it's not detectable, and it's highly difficult to measure, and admittedly weak, and even fictitious in a lot of cases. <laughs> so, um, we're going to try to scrutinize this equation, because I got a lot of feedback, and like I said, I'm sure there were going to be holes initially. But the point is... Um, it's not hard to uh, attack this equation because it's nonsense. And what I'm discovering is basically they've um, crafted <laughs> this uh, concept onto fundamental forces. So what they've done is basically, um, like I said, put a head on top of a head. Um, they're renaming something, um, almost masking the truth with the fiction. So uh, this formula here, which concerns the gravitational force, which they uh, they drop this uh, concept on top of the reality of weight, which is mass measured in grams 
in kilograms, which we know as weight. Um, but here they say um, popular language, mass and weight are often used to mean the same thing. In reality, they are different. You know, they're related, but quite different. So here's the bullshit where um, there's no such thing as weight. There's just gravity. This gravitational force exerted on an object. Um, so here's the equation um, that I mentioned last time, which I uh, explained is a uh, bunk. Um, now, in the one of the videos, I said um, they would use G as a one to uh, omit it in the equation. Uh, technically, that's not what they do in all cases. Uh, what they actually have done is even more, um, it's a little more clever than that even. Um, it's still technically omitted in a sense, but um, in this weight equation, this is the force of gravity. This is measured in newtons. Um, this G, which is the gravitational constant, this uh, minuscule, minute, weak number, this M is the mass of the Earth. Um, we're dealing with the objects near the surface. So this will be the mass of the Earth. This is the um, radius of the Earth. This are, these are standard numbers, these three. And um, they equal to this G, which is uh, kind of funny. Now, what is this G? Um, it says, the weight of an object of mass M at the surface of the Earth is obtained by multiplying the mass M by the acceleration due to gravity. G at the surface of the Earth. So this is the acceleration due to gravity. The 